Hey everyone, Sarah from Easy English Club back with another British English lesson. Today we are going to go over five expressions. I will teach you how to use these expressions, how to pronounce these expressions and use them in natural sounding sentences. I know you love British English. It's up there comes out here, goes to you, and we can learn it together. Okay, guys, five British English expressions to help you with your fluency, your conversation, and your pronunciation. When you guys use these phrases and what we call idiomatic expressions, it shows that you are learning to sound like a native it shows that you are gaining more fluency, which means you will be gaining more confidence. So let's get started. Okay, guys. We will learn how to pronounce these words and then how to use them in natural sounding sentences. I know that's what you want. All right, my lovelies. Five British English expressions for business, English, work, school, entrepreneurs and everybody. The first one I've picked for you is fed up. Fed up. Two words, guys. Fed up. What fed up means, it means you're, you're kind of, you've had enough. For example, you can be fed up with working on a project or fed up with a colleague. Next one is bogged down. Pretty good expression, huh? Bogged down. Bogged down. What bogged down means, it means you're overwhelmed or you're, you're, it literally means something sunk in the ground, in the wet ground. You know that <coughs> sound? All right. But what bogged down means when we use it in British conversation, it means you're, um, you're making progress, but something has stopped you in your tracks. You're bogged down. Next one, tied up. It doesn't literally mean that you're tied up like with a piece of string or something. It means that you're busy. You can be tied up in a meeting or you can be tied up on the telephone. So that's tied up. Next one, in the middle of. This literally does mean you're in the middle of. You can be in the middle of a conversation, in the middle of concentrating on something, in the middle of, in the middle of a meeting, in the middle of a phone call. Next one, come up with, I like this. It means you're thinking. It means you're coming up with some ideas or you're coming up with some plans. Okay, guys, there's you five expressions. Fed up, bogged down, tied up, in the middle of, and come up with. Now, let's learn to say these in natural sounding sentences. Okay, guys, now that we've learnt these five expressions, we'll go over how to pronounce them, how they should sound in a British accent, and how to use them in natural sounding sentences. So listen to me and repeat. Number one, fed up. Fed up. As you know, it means you're bored of something, you're fed up, you're kind of done with it. So, a example sentence, I'm fed up working on this project, it's taking too long. I'm fed up 
working on this project, it's taking too long. Now, note the expression fed up, two separate words, fed and up. But when we say them in a natural sounding sentence, we practice something that we call linking. That's where you take two words, normally nouns, fed up. You kind of squash them together and make them one word. So fed up becomes fed up, fed up. Hope you got that one, guys. Number two, looking at my notes here, bogged down, bogged down, where something is overwhelming you, you're overwhelmed with something. For example, an example sentence, sorry guys, I can't make the meeting next week, I'm bogged down with paperwork. I can't make the meeting next week. I'm bogged down with paperwork. Now, bogged down, we change to bogged down, bogged down, bogged down. Kind of hear the link in there, guys? Bogged down. Number three, tied up. Let's go to lunch at 12. I'm a little tied up. Let's make it one. Lots of linking in that one, guys. So tied up becomes, let's go to lunch at 12. I'm a little tied up. There's some link in there. I'm a little. I'm a little becomes, I'm a little. This is going to take some practice, guys. I know, I speak fast. I'm a little. I'm a little tied up. Let's make it at one. I can't make the meeting. Let's go to lunch at 12. I'm a little tied up. Tied up. Tied up becomes tied up. The end of the D on the tied is joined with the U of the up. Tied up. Let's go to lunch at 12. I'm a little tied up. Can we make it a one? Number three. Number four. I'm in the middle of. I'm in the middle of. I'm in the middle of. An example sentence. Have you read over the business proposal? No, I'm in the middle of an important project. So... Have you read over? Read and over is linked. It becomes read over, read over. Have you read over the business proposal? Becomes read over the business proposal. No, I'm in the middle of an important project. In the middle of, linked again. In the middle of, middle of, middle of an important project. Number five, come up with. Example sentence. How's your new office? I'm trying to come up with ways to fit in all the new furniture. How's your new office? I'm trying to come up with ways to fit in all the new furniture. Fit in becomes fit in, fit in, fit in, and all the new, joined again, linking, all the, all the, two separate words, all the, becomes all the, and new office verbs, we say new office. So, that sentence again, how's your new office? I'm trying to come up with ways to fit in all the new furniture. You got all of those guys? Five new expressions to improve your fluency, make you sound more confident. 
Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I'll be back again tomorrow with a new one. If you enjoyed it and you found it useful, give me the thumbs up. And don't forget the bell icon, guys, and you'll know when there's new content. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.